Hello again. Those of us who have raised our eyebrows and rolled our eyes at the sight of white characters from English history being played on screen by black people have in the past been roundly admonished here by those commenting that only talent should matter in auditions. And what does it matter if we operate a policy of colourblind casting? So, a new production of Shakespeare's Richard III has Ad Jo Ando, a black woman who starred in Bridgerton in the leading role. So what if Richard III was a white man? Why shouldn't a black woman play the part? Are we sexist as well as racist? There are those of us who think there's something other than colourblind casting, purely according to talent, is going on here. We suspect that television producers, filmmakers and the directors of theatres have latched onto this idea of putting black people in white roles because they think it makes them look very up-to-date and progressive. In other words, it's fashionable. It's by way of being a novelty for them and a way of demonstrating their own anti-racist credentials. Does this process work in the opposite direction, though? Can people with lighter skins be cast in a role where the character is from a visible minority? If we are being colourblind and acting is the only criterion, then that should indeed be possible. Although many of us have an idea that such a thing is unlikely in the extreme to happen in the real world. It appears we are right because Disney is now embroiled in a terrible row about the casting of a live-action version of the cartoon film Lilo and Stitch. This features two sisters who are Hawaiian. For the live-action version of the film, Disney have cast a young woman called Sydney Agudong, who is Hawaiian, as one of the sisters. According to her IMDb entry, to which I give a link in the description of this video, she was born and raised on the island of Kaui in Hawaii. The, there now, what could possibly go wrong? It is a film about two Hawaiian girls and Disney have cast two Hawaiian girls in the roles. The problem is that Disney is now being accused of what is described as blatant colorism. For it seems that the girl does not look dark enough. More specifically, her skin is lighter than the fictional girl in the original cartoon. I give a link to the um, uh, both the character in the cartoon and the woman scheduled to play her in the live action uh, version of the film in the description to this video. There is no question that the actor is a dark-skinned Hawaiian, but she's seen as being too white by some critics. I'll give a link to a piece about the complaints. The only complaint here is that the skin colour is too white. Everybody agrees that she is Hawaiian and that she's a good actor, but that's not enough. Colourblind casting, eh? This simply confirms what many of us have known all along, that this game only works when it's being undertaken to erase white people. Move even slightly in the other direction and suddenly it's not at all a case of only acting ability should matter. We see that the only thing which really matters is skin colour. I shouldn't think that many viewers will be surprised by this news, but it's always nice to have our suspicions confirmed in this way.